What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleteNext.com. So today I'm gonna to show you how to fix that ugly forward head posture quickly, all right? All you have to do is this. Wow, that worked quickly. Instantly. Was that actually you in that video? Yes, that was actually me, but I sort of got it was not my fault. Okay, concussion number 17, I think, in that video 16, right there. 16, I think it was. 16, we'll explain 17. that at the end. There actually be a serious message attached to that as well. However, what we're trying to do here today is fix that forward head posture and actually do it the right way, because when it comes to postural fixes, a lot of times people approach it in the wrong way. I'm gonna show you the right way to do it and specifically the right way to correct this posture problem so you never have to deal with it ever again. Okay, so to set the stage for this correction, it's important that you differentiate between the site of the issues that you're having and the actual source of the issues you're having, because they're very, very different. See, I talked about this concept before in relation to medial elbow pain, a very common source of pain for a lot of people that lift weights. However, if you looked at this area alone and trying to attack the problem, and maybe you gave some ultrasound or you massaged the area, you'd be doing nothing long term to fix the problem. I made a whole video about how the actual source of this issue laid all the way out here in your fingers. So what happens is you have to learn how to look above and below the site. And when it comes to the neck itself, we really can't go looking too far further up overhead because there's nothing there. So we have to look below. And it's actually very easy to see that because we know that the spine here is one interconnected unit. We know that if we did something to the spine below, it's going to have repercussions and compensations above. And all you have to do is look at that example right here. If I were to take a spine and put it into thoracic flexion here, like this, which we see all too often, we know that what's actually happening is not necessarily an issue with the neck, but a compensation of the neck to go back into this direction. Why? Because we know that we want to keep our eyes aligned to be able to see what's happening in front of us. So if I were to round myself down, my head's looking down, but I have to make that adjustment in the neck to be able to compensate. Likewise, I could go even further down the spine, down here into the lumbar spine, and I could take myself into posterior tilt. And as I do that, it actually takes that thoracic area again into excessive flexion. Well, what happens again? Once again, in order to get my head back into that position to see right, I gotta make another adjustment here. So a lot of times, this site, this type of thing going on here, actually has nothing to do with what's going on here. There are some things that we're gonna have to address from a strength standpoint, but most of all, it's what's happening down here. And I'm gonna show you exactly how we do that with Jesse right now. Okay, so we go from that skeleton to a skeleton with a little, a little bit of meat on him. And we're gonna make the same correction. I want you guys though to do this with me, okay? Because you're gonna feel and see this right away. Everything I just showed you. If we're here, we, again, we know this is one connected element and this is a compensation. So if I say just sit up straight, try to sit up right now in your chair straight. Immediately, as soon as I do that, I still have this rounded shoulder thing going on. We still have this thoracic rounding, but it got less. It got less severe because we fixed the spine from below. Next, what I have to do is I say, Jesse, stick your chest out as far as you possibly can. By doing that, look what happens to the head. All of a sudden, the head and the neck are in proper position. Why? They no longer have to compensate and adjust to the positioning here of the rounded thoracic spine or the posterior pelvic tilt. As a matter of fact, you don't really ever see people who still have this corrected and then have that head that protrudes that far out. That's happening only in conjunction with these other things going on. So we can fix these things, we're gonna be well on our way to getting rid of this for good. The good news is I'm gonna show you exactly what to do for that now, and we're gonna be able to do that with a bench just like this, or even the side of a couch, if you're doing this at home, to get going on it right away. All right guys, so there's a two-part fix to this problem. It starts right here, and you're gonna be able to do this, like I said, on that bench, or even the arm of a couch if you wanna do this at home. And it's gonna hit all the areas at once that we already talked about over there. We want to work on that thoracic spine, right? So we know that this is one of the areas we need to get more extension through. So if we can use something to get us to get more into extension, we're on the right path. And we know we can do that right here with the edge of the bench, acting almost as if a foam roller or any type of mobility tool. So we get ourselves in that position, and Jesse props himself up, pushing the edge of this right at that point of most restriction. All right now, we know that we can also address that secondary component here, the lower portion, the lumbar spine, and get out of that posterior tilt that he's in, and get into an anterior tilt by dropping down. So with that combination now, you're in a good spot to actually start working on the third component, and that is the, the, the strength of the deep flexors of the neck that do tend to get a little bit weak over time when we stay in this position chronically. So what we do there is we just try to tuck the chin down and keep our head, if we got all this hair out of the way, we keep the head here parallel to the floor. This is an isometric contraction here of the neck. And what you want to do is you want to do this for one minute, three times a day. 
Now, if you can handle this, and this is something you're good at already, we can make a modification to make it more difficult. We take the arms and we place them up over our head. And what we're doing here is we're further challenging the extension through the thoracic spine in the same way that we know we can because of the interconnectivity with the spine as we would with an overhead squat. You get those arms up, it's a lot harder to stay not rounded as your body goes down into the squat. So there's an additional challenge to get more out of our thoracic extension. The same thing applies here with the neck though, that three isometric one minute contractions for one minute three times a day. The last thing we can do is we can actually make this weighted if you get to the point where you're actually looking for a little bit more of a challenge. So you just take a weight plate, you wrap a t-shirt around it, you hold it in that same position, he's working on that same spot on the thoracic spine, he drops the pelvis down a little bit into anterior tilt, and now he goes from this extended position from here just back to neutral, up to there. It's not a big movement, it's small, but the key is you want to work on that strengthening and now we're taking it beyond the isometric, we're taking it into a little bit of a concentric uh, uh, shortening. All right, so you'd work on the level that's appropriate for you and challenging to you, and we got one more thing we got to do. Once we correct all this, we have one other thing to actually help to strengthen all those muscles to keep it there, and that is a face pull variation. All right, so guys, no video of Athlean X is, is complete without a face pull. We've already learned that by now, but we already know that I made a video about how important it is to include this exercise at the end of every workout that you do, and for good reason. However, we've made an additional modification that I showed you a couple videos back that will actually help this problem even more so because of the muscles that it's helping to train. When we take the face pull one step further, we go up. And what happens is when we go up, we involve the activation of the lower traps as well, whose main role is to keep those shoulders back and down. If we can get that, what are we doing? Thanks, Jesse. What we're doing is we're actually correcting that posture that we've been working on this whole time. We're getting those shoulders from this rounded forward position to one that's back and down, which helps to correct that auto correction here of the neck. Additionally, we're working the rotator cuff, again, whose job is to keep the shoulders back. We're working on the interscapular and midscapular muscles, and we're even working on the lumbar paraspinals, all of which are going to keep us more in this position as opposed to this. And we know if we can drive this position, that that head is going to naturally adapt to it. So make sure you don't forget to do your face pulls with this additional modification at the end of every workout. Just a couple sets is all I need. All right, so there you have it, guys. There is your plan of attack now that you can instantly start to work into your training program right now to start getting those fixes in place. Guys, it's going to take consistency, and if you do it, you're going to be permanently fixed, I promise you. You just have to make sure you're doing the right things, and with this video, now you're taking the right approach. I did mention Jesse in the open. I promised we would explain the video. You got some explaining to do, Jesse. Uh, yeah, someone was heckling a kid on the ice at a hockey game, and the mom thought it was me. And, uh, and it wasn't you, right? It wasn't me. Okay. It wasn't. And uh, she took umbrage with that, apparently, yeah. <laughs> and crashed your head into a wall. Yes, that he, was concussion, I think, 16 or 17. All right, so guys, I want to take this. You know, we have a large platform here, Athlean has a large social media following and I, and I thank you guys for that, you're responsible for it, but I want to do some good as well. Today, this, this is actually almost the end of uh, Brain Injury Awareness Month. Yes, Mindful March is, as it's also known. So Jesse's been very closely connected with that because we haven't really disclosed this much over the years, but Jesse has actually had multiple concussions starting back in his childhood playing lacrosse yeah. and then moving on to adulthood doing stupid things. Yes, general tomfoolery. Gen yeah, and, and basically led to the point where he was uh, dealing with a lot of serious post-concussion syndrome. If you want to elaborate. Um, brain fog was a big one, memory loss, exertion headaches, um, depression, anxiety, a lot of things that are uh, pretty common with concussions and traumatic brain injuries in general. These things don't always go away. They sometimes can last for you know, years and years and years. And the accumulation of the effects, you know, it's, it gets gotten bad for me. Right. And, 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 and you know, we have all obviously here internally supported your efforts. Yes. And, 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 and obviously everybody out there, there's been a lot of love for Jesse. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So we're, we're glad for that, guys, and I appreciate that. If we want to help out, guys, you can head to loveyourbrain.com yes. and donate. There's no connection to us at all. It's just a, a cause that Jesse's passionate about. And I want to take a quick moment here at the end of this video to share that with you guys. In the meantime, if you found this video helpful, leave your comments and thumbs up below. Let me know what I'm going to cover. If you want more Jesse, let me know too. We'll make sure we work them in somewhere from time to time. We'll pull them out of the cage. <laughs> the fact of the matter is, guys, we're here to make the videos you want to see. If you haven't already, guys, please subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss a new video when we put one out. See ya.